Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gene, aka LS Turbo Integ, and in today's video, we're gonna continue working on it. I'll be needing to take off the fenders and the gas lid. We're gonna bring it to Max over at SEM Carbon. He's gonna do the slats here in blue carbon fiber. Like I mentioned in my previous video, that would be this right here. It'll be in the same carbon fiber material we did on that. So I'll have him do the slats. Uh, he's also gonna do the, um, the gas door lid. And if you haven't been keeping up to date on my Instagram, I did order the TAKD carbon fiber hood. So that's being made now. It's probably about a month. Uh, I ordered about a week and a half ago. So it takes between five to six weeks to get that back. But I don't think I'm gonna have Max do those slats yet just cause I know he's really busy. Uh, Want to get the fenders done and get them back in time. Got a lot of car shows coming up with the guys at Team Elevate. That's gonna be super exciting. But today, like I said, let's get the fenders off. I'll have to get the car back up on stands again. I need to remove the front bumper. Gotta remove the uh, headlights to get to the fenders. All right, guys. Other than that, guys, I ordered the plastic piece that I need to use when I install the boots, risers. Gonna work on that. I'm still scheduling a meeting with my buddy Eddie so we can get these cut down and we get those installed. That'll be on another video. We still have the hatch struts that we need to install as well as the uh, RDR banner. So lots of work to do still guys. But for now, I wanna get started on this front end. That way this weekend when I see Max, I can drop off the fenders and the gas lid. That way he's got plenty of time to uh, get everything done, so. Also guys, I have Matt over at Porsche Mod Squad. He's currently working on the PSE exhaust. I'll post a picture of what he's got done so far. Hopefully I should be getting that back pretty soon. No rush on that since uh, car's gonna be on stands anyways, but really excited to get that back from Matt. I'll post a bunch of audio clips of what the Porsche sounded like before I added the sole down pipe with the down pipe and after everything's done. So that way you guys get an idea and hopefully you guys be able to pick it up on camera, the difference in the exhaust notes. So far, really excited with the progress of how everything's turning out. If you guys have any questions, please post them below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Also guys, I had a box come in. I'm not sure which one it's coming from, but I did order some more cleaning supplies from Adams and Chemical Guys. Um, usually if you order in bulk, it lasts you for a good couple years. This year I was running low, so I had to stock up again. So let me see what we got here. Also guys, I did, I don't know what this one is yet, uh, but we are gonna do a, just a one step paint correction on the Porsche. I don't really see any scratches, maybe some light ones. To tell you the truth, I don't really remember if it was already on the car when I bought it, but I do take pretty good care of the paint. But because I am gonna ceramic coat it this year, let me show you guys. I actually ordered this when I first bought the Porsche, but I never got around to doing it. Uh, just because it was too late in the year and the temperatures were dropping, so I 
decided to wait last year missed that opportunity just because i had so much stuff going on but this is what i'll be going with this is from adams it is the graphene ceramic coating kit i'll be using this so stay tuned for that video and the one i used from my bmw guys is also the one i used from adams uh, here's what i use it is the adams paint coating ceramic glow so as you apply it and wipe it you can actually go back and see if you miss any spots by using the included uv light so you have to do with the lights off shine the light on and it should be glowing i think it was purple this is very helpful and it is a kit it came with the two pack flying pads surface prep and this is the ceramic boost but on the porsche i'm going to use the graphene ceramic coating and see what a difference that is all right guys let's see what came in oh this is the one from adams here's that one step polish the scratches on here are very light and i think this is the perfect product to use and there should be a pad yep this is the one step pad it's a five and a half inch pad i'll be using and i will use that with my Corex 15 da from chemical guys i bought this a couple years ago when i did the uh, paint correction on the bmw so i'll be using that also what i ordered was i got tired of using windex and every time i use windex you got to make sure you're not out in the bright sun because it'll slowly shrink. So I went with Adam's glass cleaner. Let's see how that works out. Also, I'm out of car wash. Take two. <laughs> LOL, take two. Also ordered the Adam's car shampoo. I'm out of the, uh, I usually use Meguiar's Gold or the Maxi Suds from Chemical Guys, but this time I wanted to try something from Adam. So I'll use this in my foam cannon. I'm also out of the detail from Adams. I use a graphene detail spray. I really like this, so I ordered another one. So as soon as the chemical guys comes in, I'll let you guys know what I ordered from them. So I kind of like to use both their brands just because I love to use everything and anything. So, all right guys, let's go ahead and get started. But I need my favorite drink. I think I'm gonna do sour. I think I'm gonna go with watermelon. I do need to pick up some more of the blues. These are the zero low carb. These are actually pretty good. This is more citrusy. The green ones, these are the originals. These are the ones that'll give you a heart attack with so much sugar in it. Uh, but my favorite are the watermelons. And this Ultra Paradise tastes like green apple. So that's my second favorite monster drink. But I need to stock up. I'm running low on these uh, low carbs and the ultra blues what's your guys favorite let's go ahead and get started fam we got a lot of work to do today
Hey guys, it's the following day. Uh, very long night working on the car, getting everything removed. But as you can see, we are all done. I got the fenders off, front bumpers off. First time doing it, when I first put the fenders in, was kind of a pain in the But now that I know what's involved in removing the fenders in the front bumper, it's not too bad. It's just very time consuming. What really helps you guys is to stay organized. And what I mean by that is, have like a bag labeled with all the hardware that was removed. That way you know, for example, lower bumper, driver's side wheel well, and, and so forth. That way you might not be able to put these back here in the next day or two. Sometimes it'll be a couple weeks or even a month. And then once you get everything back, start putting everything together, you don't remember what hardware goes where. So good idea to keep everything labeled. But we'll be meeting up with Max here in Cleveland. I'm gonna drop everything off to him. But for the meantime, the car is gonna stay back to the future style. But uh, here's all the parts. Got the front bumper, got the fenders over here. Okay, you got the headlights, covers, wheel wells. So everything's nice and organized. Like I said, you guys, right here on the slats is where I'm gonna have SCM Carbon. They're gonna do that with blue carbon fiber. So we got the slats right here, you guys, and the slats here. Also, the gas lid will be done in that blue carbon fiber as well. Again, for those who don't know, it'll be the same carbon fiber they did on my interior pieces, here's an example. This is the dash and all the trim. Door sill looks really good. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. I have an idea just because I can picture it in my mind. Um, but once we get everything back, we'll get everything installed and you guys tell me whether I made the uh, right decision or not. Guys also had a shipment come in. Now this is the one that I ordered from Chemical Guys. So here's what I ordered from Adams and I showed this earlier. All right, I did order some more applicator pads. Clean Slate. So the Clean Slate, you guys, is a citrus based product and it's basically gonna remove all the old waxes on the car. That way, when you're doing your paint correction, it's on a nice clean surface. I'll also do a clay bar. So I'll get all the contaminants off uh, as well. So incorporate this with the clean slate, okay? And this is the one I bring to all my car shows, you guys. This is the Chemical Guys EcoSmart Waterless Car Wash. Basically, it's a concentrate, so you can mix this. I'll use this in one of my spray bottles. I'll fill it up with water. Yeah, so you'll mix eight ounces of this to one gallon of water. And this is one gallon here, so you'll only use eight ounces. So I'll actually, I think when I did it before, I'd do about three or four ounces is what I'll use in the spray bottle. This is my go-to products for my car. Um, you can see, love this thing, keeps everything organized. Just to show you the stuff I've got. And like I said, you guys can see all these one gallon. It's just because it lasts so much longer than buying the smaller bottles, which if you know you're gonna be working on your car all the time, you're better off just spending a little bit more and getting everything in bulk. So I've got the Chemical Guys wheel cleaner. Okay. Uh, Natural Shine from Chemical Guys. 
I got their butter wet wax. Love this stuff. Got the tire shine from Chemical Guys. This is what I use on all my matte finishes. This is the matte detailer spray sealant. I use these on my wheels up there that's in storage. And this is all gone, but this was the Meguiar's car wash that I would use. And then I would basically fill up all the bottles as you can see. And just having it on a nice cart, wheel it up to the driveway as you're washing the car, everything is right there, easy to use. Really excited to stock up on my stuff again this year. So that'll do it for this video, guys. I gotta go meet up with Max this Saturday, drop everything off. I know it takes time to get custom work done from Max. So, but because his work is amazing, I don't have any issues waiting for it. So guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy the journey on my Porsche Cayman GTS. Love this thing. Uh, I still have a lot more mods planned in future videos. For example, the seats, uh, the back cover. I'm gonna post a picture of what the back engine cover and as most Cayman and Boxer owners know, you can't see the engine. So I'm gonna have Porsche Mod Squad. He's gonna do the engine cover. It'll be acrylic with the see-through so you can see the engine. Uh, the material will also be wrapped in the same material that the seats will be wrapped in, which I'll post a picture of an example. But I'm also gonna have the seats wrapped in the same material. So I think with the engine cover and the two seats wrapped in that same material, it's gonna look really cool. So uh, stay tuned for that video. If you guys are enjoying this content, please consider subscribing. Hit those post notifications. That way when I drop a video, you guys are gonna be notified. And if you guys have any questions, please post a question or a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer and interact with you guys. All right guys, that'll do it for this video. Stay tuned for the next video. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace.